Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video of what it takes to So today I have my second video for today and it's a new player with the other new game called Haptic and it's also legendary. This one looks so cool, like this is probably one of my favorite camos like overall in Black Ops 3. So the animation on this one is nice and the colors is nice as well. You can see it on the KN, it absolutely, it looks so cool on the KN44. So I was playing on the map combine, I was playing it to my party with my good friend Kimster. So at this time I was playing on my own account, uh, I finally got a gameplay or a DLC gameplay on my own account. So. So in this video, I just want to show you this camo, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, and just talk about the camos in general. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show it off, and that's why I decided, instead of just uploading the gameplay, going like, open 15, or just like, going to private match, uh, then I just much rather get a new game, because I'm a, uh, a pop stomper. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right there, but I'm a pop stomper, I'm getting gameplays, I can easily get nuclear, so I, I just decided to get nuclear to show it off like this, so. This is a nuclear with the new Haptic Camo, and yeah, the Camo is so cool, I don't even know, but I feel like some of the legendary Camos are boring, uh, but this one is cool, like this one and Swindler is probably my favorite legendary Camos, so because, it's, it's only because of animation on them, it looks so cool, and I feel like this could be an, an epic, like I don't know when you can say it's an epic Camo, and when it's a legendary Camo, like what is the difference actually, because like some of the epic camos are really boring like the etching camo, prestige camo and stuff like that. There's also some DLC camos. I can't even remember when they came out but it's a while ago. So I think it's back uh, around the first DLC. Uh, that was that was around there. So, But I really remember, I remember back in the time, Black Ops 2 when they added new camos like Cyborg, Aqua. Um, there was a few more like Afterlife and there was the cartoon one. There was some really nice camos and with animation on it. There was the I think it was the first like animation camos back in a in Call of Duty like back in the time. So now we have a ton of them. Even in a range warfare, I added some really unique and really nice camos that I also really enjoyed. So, but I feel like it's not the same in Black Ops 3. So some of these camos look so cool, but it just feels so weird because there's so many of them and you get them like man, you had to get lucky. And there's like 32 different guns you can get all those camos, uh, camos for, so it's, there is a big difference if you get it on a launcher. Because you never like run around with a launcher just trying to get streaks or kills or whatever, unless you're like trolling. But if you get it to an AR, it's so much better than if you get it to a launcher. It's pretty much useless if you get it to a launcher. It looks cool because the launcher is big and you can see the camo really well. But it's just you don't really run around and use a black solo trying to get fucking multi kills or clips or gameplay. It would be pretty weird if you did that. They would probably be disabled or something like that. I don't even know. But um, that I just feel like it's not the same anymore. I wish it was like in Black Ops 2 with the camo. You bought it or you got it from Season Pass and then you had it on uh, every fucking gun in the game. Like that would be so much better. Um, but that's that's not how it is but i really hope you enjoyed let me know what you think about this camo in the comment section below and then just thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you all in my next video